Okay, so today guys I'm going to show you how to set up the Zagema H2H um, That's Sky and Virgin This is what you need USB for flashing the box Coax converter, so this is F connector to coax and then you'll need virgin connection sky connection HDMI ethernet so I'll go ahead I'll unbox it and then I'll connect it up and show everybody the connections okay so this is the back of the box tuner A in that's sky RF in is virgin so that's where this comes in handy that's the F connector so your virgin cable will connect this side with the thread and then this will go in RF in so it just pushes in and if you've not got that then you're not getting a connection so it's just not going to work you can pick them up eBay screw fix B and Q, HDMI, this is the USB we'll use for flashing, Ethernet, don't really need any of this, power on and off, easy, I'll get it all connected up, show all the connections when they're in, and then we'll start flashing the box. Alright, so we've got it connected, power, Virgin, Sky, the one with the green and yellow, Sky, I took this connector off because we don't need it for this box. HDMI, USB, Ethernet, you don't really need this, but we'll put it in just now anyway. Power on. This here's a mag and an OTV box. I'll need to get a couple of videos up to show you how to do that. This box flashes a lot quicker than the other. That's all in about a minute to flash. Booting up should be a wee bit quicker as well because, well, it's a faster box. Let's set on. Open VIX. That's it coming on, so shouldn't be much longer. Now that this is coming on, you can take out the. Take this out. It's not needed. Set it to the side. This is going to be the USB I'm going to put in for recording, EPG, stuff like that. Just to show you. Later on I will add a better one. So just put that in the same slot that the last one was in and that's us, good to go, start setting it up you will notice the remote is a wee bit different you cannot use one from a 2S on an H, 2S, H2H, anything like that so here goes, menu set up system Storage devices, 
initialization red to initialize yes you'll notice that this is a much 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 quicker than the last one the last videos that I've done okay now that's done it'll take you back to the main screen menu set up vix swap manager tells you down here so blue to create pick the hard drive 256 Right, so that's it. Swap places in there, and it's all set up. So then you press yellow to auto start. Maybe tick comes up here. Then you green to activate. And then red to close. That's that bit done. Alright, so that's done. Next bit's menu. Set up. Service searching. Tuner's configuration, so you'll see here, A is for Sky, B is for Virgin, so you need to go in and you'll see this bit here, it says Network ID, right, so I'll put a link in the description, but I know mine, and that's that, so I'd save that. And then we go out of this. And then we go into Auto Bulkets Maker Providers, just the same as last time. So it's kind of no. And then go to the bottom. Virgin UK, yes, change it to that, and then green for OK, and then start scan, and then this will start scanning Sky and Virgin. There you go, and then that'll make up the bulkheads for you, and then I'll show you that in a minute. Alright, so now we've scanned the channels, etc. We go in information, network, we get this bit of here, the IP address, because we'll need that to add the line details. 
Okay. So we'll go to the computer and we'll sort that out. Alright, so we come to the computer. Host is the IP address for the last bit. Username always root blank for password port blank. Quick connect. Right, then it will load up all of these bits here. I'm gonna use CC cam on this one. So we'll scroll down CC cam view and edit. That's obviously a CLI. You don't need the numbers at the end. But you would just do So that could be your sky one at the top, virgin at the bottom, virgin sky, whatever. You just put the both of them in the same file, then you close it. A box will come up, you may wish to make changes, save, then this will come up, finish editing, delete the local file, then click yes. That's it, uploaded. Then we'll go back to the box. Alright, so the box right, so the box is rebooted, so we'll go we press blue on the remote, blue Soft Cam Manager. So if you remember, I put it in CC Cam, so you highlight MG Cam, then you press blue. You see there it says disable. And then you press green to stop it. Now it'll load up, so now it says nothing's active. Then you highlight CC cam and you press green to stop it. Well, and that's it working. You can see, but I'll bring you back up in a wee second to the menu. So that's it on there. And you want to press blue again to en enable the startup so it starts automatically. So you want that wee tick. Now you press red to close. So that's it on. EPG I'll show you here. So this is Sky to start with. Keep going down. And then you'll see entertainment again. See? Okay, entertainment. And notice it's halfway down. So this is now Virgin that we're in. So we're going sports. Everybody likes sports. HD. This bit here with the Virgin, I turn off the numbers because you don't put them in order. But if you type in the channel number, it will take you to the proper channel. You don't actually need to type in. 6229 you can actually type in the normal channel number I'll take you and that's that's Virgin easy so we'll go in menu set up the last step system EPG, cross EPG, go into this, that's alright, sometimes they add in an extra one for whatever reason, so you want to update the providers, and then download now. And that's it. So that will read all the channels, download the info, then it will start updating the info, and then you just reboot the box and it will be there for you. And that's it. It's as easy as that. You notice the TV stopped, it's because it's actually downloading the, the EPG at the moment.